Earlier this month, I saw Twitter explode with mentions of a game called Mini Dune 2. And just from the screenshots I was seeing, I was instantly drawn into the style of the graphics and the fact that it was actually a platformer. Firstly, I'd like to start off by saying that I haven't personally played too much of the original Doom myself, mostly due to the fact I suck at keyboard controls. But I have watched my fair share of others play this iconic first-person shooter, and for years it's been on my I really should have played this by now list of games. So on a personal level, this is great for someone like me who wants a good taste of the Doom universe, but delivered in a nice little action platformer package. You start out by deciding your difficulty level, and you can choose the level for each individual stage. This isn't one of the hardest games I've played, but let's just say that I've been playing this on the easy mode and I had plenty of how in the hell do I get out of this moments. Whoa. Fuck. Oh god, yeah, this sucks. Oh my god. Wow, okay. Wow, there's a lot going on. Like, nightmare mode? What in the hell goes on in nightmare mode? Sometimes it can take a while for me to get a feel of a game and decide if I like it or not, but not with this. The first thing you'll notice is a familiar looking map. I totally freaked out when I saw the Super Mario Bros. 3 inspired hills and castle stages on the map. Even the Doom guy himself has taken on a Mario form. What kind of insane magical universe is this? It's awesome. Instead of a tutorial stage, the game simply throws you into the action but features subtle tips and tricks on how to use weapons and controls. I love how they are in the form of posters. Who put those up anyway? The demons? Hey Doom Guy, did you know you can blow us up by throwing grenades? Well, here's how. I know this is more of a me problem, but switching weapons when you run out of ammo can be a totally chaotic mess when in the middle of some serious shit. Okay, shit. I don't know what to use. Like, everything's empty. Shit. The game features, dare I say it, cute retro versions of the iconic creatures from the series, and I'm totally obsessed with the sprite. Can I please get a Kako Demon or Imp plushie? My poop emoji and my Yoshi pillow need friends. No revenants, though. I hate those guys. But in all seriousness, the graphics are polished and the soundtrack is freaking awesome. Like, it's perfect. How can you not be motivated to keep playing? Oh shit! In my opinion, the game is the perfect length. It's only two worlds, but each world consists of plenty of levels that are just long enough to keep you satisfied, but not overwhelmed or exhausted. A common dilemma many of us adult gamers have is that there's simply too many games and not enough time. Because of this, I don't think every game needs to take hours upon hours to beat. Especially for a game like this, I think the amount of levels is perfect. Plus, once you beat the game, you can go back and unlock more secrets or try harder modes so it also offers plenty of replay value. Maybe next time I'll suck it up and go for nightmare mode. Hey guys, so I'd like to take a moment and plug my Twitch channel. Twitch.tv slash Aaron underscore plays. I'll put the link in the description. I'm just gonna stop talking to this.